KG and Ringy Quick Hitter. Token the pot. Here's how I found this super rare trade token. Most of you know that I'm always rambling on about using the little 5x8 coil on my AT Max, and I've got two absolute perfect examples of why I belabor that point. We were at a really cool event in Missouri a few weeks ago, hunting acres and acres of land that included lots of natural old homestead sites, our favorite places to hunt. One morning, we watched literally 50 or maybe even 100 people armed with every brand of detector circle an old broken down cabin and head off one after the other for quieter open fields, frustrated with the massive amount of iron and garbage signals. That's a nail there. And you certainly can't blame them, especially with all the target-rich land available there. But I saw it as a challenge. After eyeballing it for a while, I looked over at KG and said, I bet we could find something in that front yard. I dropped my pack, switched coils from the Viper to the 5x8, and proceeded to meticulously grid the front yard. KG joined me eventually, and after a couple of hours of picking slowly and painstakingly through the chatter, we ended up separating out a pouch full of quality brass targets, including several casings, a smashed thimble, a harmonica reed section, makeup lids, and even a brass wedding ring for KG. He's trying to steal my thunder, you know. He always is. He just can't settle for being the king. He's got to try to be the ring, too. And then directly along the sidewalk in the front yard, I got a jumpy signal to lock on solidly from one angle, just enough to make me dig, and it turned out to be possibly my best find of the year so far. Two old brass tokens in one hole, including a rare, unlisted trade token from a mercantile building that used to stand just across the road. Kreitz Merchandise Company, Good for 50 cents in merchandise. So cool. Love the history. The other example happened later that afternoon, and an almost identical situation unfolded. The house was long gone, but you could still see the well and some decorative garden bushes that were planted on purpose at one time. The area was noisy, of course, but within 30 minutes, I had another token, about 20 copper memorial pennies, a couple of Wheaties, and these two awesome silver-plated belt buckles. Nothing amazingly old or valuable, but I love digging up weird stuff like that. So much fun. Anyway, when you run into old junky homesteads, don't give up. Put a small coil on your detector, go incredibly slow, slower than you think you should, hit the area from a bunch of different angles, and you never know. There might be something left amongst the trash. Almost always is. Spader alligator, ring you out. Quick hitter.